Mr. Bauman, Mr. Toledo, staff, students, parents, and friends. Welcome to the musical production of the first Thanksgiving, presented by the sixth grade. In 1620, a small group of people landed on the coast of Massachusetts. They were called the Pilgrims, and they had come from England because King because King James of England threatened to have anyone put in jail or hung if they did not belong to the church. They set sail on the ship called the Mayflower. When they arrived in Plymouth, it was winter. There were no houses, so they had to build small houses while living on the ship. They had to build the houses in the freezing temperatures. Each house had only one room called the hall. The hall was the kitchen, bedroom, dining room, and living room. There was a loft upstairs used for storage. Because of the cold, damp weather on the ship, many pilgrims died. By spring, half the pilgrims had died. Fifty-two were left. Twenty-two were children under the age of sixteen. However, the pilgrims refused to give up. The pilgrims met some Native American Indians. They taught the pilgrims how to plant corn, use fish heads to make it grow, and hunt and fish. My name is John Carver, and I sat down with Chief Massasoit and made a peace treaty. We agreed not to attack one another. The Pilgrims and Native American Indian friends celebrated their first harvest together. Five deer, wild turkey, ducks, and geese, and rabbits were killed for the feast. Any extra food was stored in the common house, where it was salted and dried. Nobody went to church on the first Thanksgiving because a harvest festival wasn't a religious holiday. They celebrated three days. The Native American Indians slept outdoors using branches for shelter. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln signed a national holiday. Americans now celebrate Thanksgiving on the last Thursday in November. And now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we present the first Thanksgiving. Please enjoy the show.
wonder what it was like on that first Thanksgiving.
to mark the harvest gathering. And a feeling of great friendship between the white man and the Native American Indian. And they had come to know each other and live in peace. And as they looked around, they saw a beautiful new world, fields of Indian corn, bright with pumpkins. Women with baskets of acorn bread. The woods with big wild turkeys. sang a thank you song.
traditional song, Over the River and Through the Woods. <laughs> Thank you.